We are live. Welcome to Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 5 Thoughts. This episode is called The Jedi. Very tense opening scene, which leads directly into Ahsoka Tana kicking ass. Love seeing Michael Bean again. I haven't seen him play very many villains, but it's always a real treat. Although, overall, I do prefer his heroes like Kyle Reese. Really great characterization when I forget the villain's name, but you know, she. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and quote. How many lives is my knowledge worth to you? One? Ten? How about a hundred? We know exactly who she is, and we really hope that she's taken out by the end of the episode. And Mando makes the child get back in its seat, but it just uses the force to grab the ball. Not much to see, not much to look at. Mando lies and claims that he's still with the guild, since that leads to more trust. My price is high. This target is priceless. And for that, there's MasterCard. And the Magistrate offers a spear made of pure Beskar for killing Ahsoka Tano. This, you know, the, the other was like, oh, it's, you know, Imperial. No, no, this is, yeah. And the subtitles identify Michael Bean's character as Lang, which is kind of funny because the actor playing the Michael Bean role in the first Avatar movie is Stephen Lang. So I don't know if it's a nod to that. Maybe or maybe the character has history in Star Wars. And Ahsoka Tano and Din Djarin both put up a really good fight against each other. I quite like that, you know, he realizes that he needs to, like, if... You know, it's it's smart for him to go for restraining her arms. That's one of the the you know, if if a Jedi can get can can use his hands and has their their lightsabers, you know, in this case lightsabers, they're they're a really big threat. But yeah, he tries to, and then she does a force jump up over and turns the the grappling hook thing on him. Very clever. I guess this this is the first time we've seen someone use the grappling hook against him, isn't it? Usually it works out very well for him. And, you know, when he says he's set by Bo-Katan, she does immediately yield. There's trust there. And she gets some alone time with the child. Tells us his name is Grogu. They can feel each other's thoughts. The Jedi Order fell a long time ago. And it has not learned how to get back up. And Ahsoka Tano won't train Grogu because she's worried he'll be the next Anakin. And she quotes Yoda at least two, maybe three times in this episode, which I appreciate. And we get some backstory on the Magistrate. And in return for getting Grogu trained, Din Djarin will help Ahsoka Tano against the Magistrate. A Jedi and a bounty hunter walk into a cantina? Your bounty hunter failed. I love the way Ahsoka Tano sneaks around, takes out each small group of soldiers a couple at a time. And really love the, the fight where Ahsoka Tano fights the Magistrate dual lightsabers on Beskar Spear, and I really appreciate that before this fight, it had been established that lightsabers, that, that Beskar blocks lightsabers. And I quite like how Lang, like, he realizes if he just openly attacks, Din Djarin will win. So he seems like he's saying, oh, you know, I don't, you know, yeah, at one point he says, my side has already lost, so... I might as well give up, and you know he lays down the the shotgun looking thing, but then she tr he tr tries to shoot him with a pistol. Love that it has a very quick draw western movie energy. And Ahsoka Tana explains about the possibility for training that it won't be her doing the training. Now Dave Filoni wrote and directed this episode, and I'm almost certain he was also the guy behind the show that Ahsoka Tana was introduced on. Clone Wars, I want to say it's called. So, yeah, you you can kind of tell he loves this character. He really, yeah. And it must have been incredible to bring her into live action. 
and I recommend watching the new Rockstars video on the episode. It has some, some great details. So, yeah. Once again, love the episode. Really looking forward to next episode. So, I will catch you then.